What's up guys? Welcome to Exactly Gaming. My name is Zach and today we are back with more of the Norp Apolog. That's right, we're unlocking Gun vs. Rock. We're gonna get Norps with expensive guns to start really tearing into this rock here. So, Rifle Norp. A Norp with a gun, what could go wrong? They shoot bullets deal 5 damage with a range of 0 to 10. Bullets deal raw damage because they're not affected by the multiplier. Bullets doubles their damage on compression events. And a grenade launcher. Damn, alright. Well, this is gonna get interesting. So, we got guys shooting guns now. I gotta wait till it freezes again, because I wanna unlock this. I'm probably gonna wait till it freezes a couple times. I did find out this. This is the compression bar. The compression bar indicates your progress to a compression event, which occurs when the pile grows tall enough. Compression events increase your tier. So I don't know what tier's gonna do, but the pile has to get a certain height. And right now I'm doing such a good job at getting rid of the pile that that's not an issue. So, yeah, we're actually taking the pile down quite a bit with these new upgrades we got. So, I'm gonna let that just go for a while, get a few points up there, and next time I see it freeze with maybe two or three, I can really get some stuff going. So... We have all of the stuff for House of Shards. We have everything for the archery range. We could get more bombers, but I don't want to do that right now. Improved digging could be nice. Um, rest and climb. Time for some cocoa. Mountaineers will not climb the pile, and mountaineers currently climbing will return home. Oh, that's kind of cool. So I could call them back so I can build up the compression. That'd be kind of neat. Let's see. Let's, let's give the mountaineers a rest for a while and see how fast it takes for that thing to build up. And in the meantime, we can just be saving up money. Ooh, yeah. Norp with a gun. What could go wrong? Yeah, I need one. I gotta have one. <clears throat> oh, look at him. Look at him go with his little gun. Look at him. Look at him go. Look at you. Go shoot. Go shoot it. You deserve this. Look at you go. Where are you gonna stand? You gonna get close? You're getting close. All right. That's cool. Yeah, look at all that go. Okay, so we got a lot of drones. Maybe we can get rid of the drones because the drones are gonna help. Yeah, I want to see how tall this pile can get. Let's let's click on the drones to destroy them. It makes them die. So let's get rid of some drones. Yeah, let's let's kill these. I know these drones were expensive, but let's get rid of them. Let's just see what the runners can do by themselves. Right, we're about to make a lot, because this bar's gonna fill up again, and then it's gonna freeze, and I'm gonna load this thing up. So we got a lot of Norps coming and getting a lot of stuff, but... I, I wanna see the compression event. I wanna see what happens. I want my tier to be increased. I don't know what that means, but I need to see it. Capacity, we could e increase that even. Yeah, let's, let's bump that up. Let's make them carry more. I know that kind of goes against what I'm trying to do here, but I also need to keep making money. So, <laughs> this one's gonna fill up one more time. I'm gonna wait for it to fill up a third time. So they're just resting over here. They're chilling. That dude's shooting his little heart out, man. I need more of them. That's awesome. Yeah, they cost 10,000, though. So that's, yeah. And one Norp. So grenade launcher's cool. Norps with guns now shoot a grenade when reloading. Grenades explode and deal 80 raw, unaffected by multiplier damage with a range of 0 to 5. That's pretty damn good. 80? 80 raw damage is a lot of damage. <clears throat> All right. So yeah, just like that filled that up. I want to see it do it with Frozen and I click the thing three times. That's what I really want to see. So we'll let that third thing build up and then the next time it freezes, we'll hit it. But I got to hit all three of them while it's frozen. So I got to do it like it's got to... All three have to be there before it freezes. Like if it freezes right now, I'm not going to do it because I don't want to wait that long. I don't want to risk it. I want to get all three in one. That way we get a shitload all at once. Oh. Oh, look at this go. Yeah, look at all that. Whoa, we did it. We did a compression event. Oh, what the hell? This is crazy. What? Oh my god, what's happening? It's all going back in. It's all going back in. All the stuff's flying back into the rock. This is insane. The ground trembles. Reach your first compression event. Whoa, that was so cool. What does that do? What does that mean? The rock fights back. Your pile just compressed. Uh, and f and out from the rock came a mysterious spiky ball. It might be a good idea to build a rock analysis lab if you haven't already. Press A and D or left and right to quickly swap between buildings. Upgrade unlocked Zybelium Collection. What? This is crazy. The mysterious spiky ball floating above the rock has been dubbed Zybelium, and Norp scientists move to attempt collection of it. it requires new equipment, and what's that going to cost? And that's going to cost. What does the Zybelium do? I don't know, but we need a Norp to find out, so I'm about to go build 
my stat. I'm about to build more uh, housing. And there's like purple stuff now. Is that worth more? I hope so. Yeah, let's build some housing. Yeah, pile it on. Look at that. We don't have any drones, but that's okay. Because I want to just, yeah, we need to build this up for a bit. Oh, it's moving. That's cool. It's cool that it moves around. All right, yeah, let's get some of these rocks and get them over to them. Let's help them out. It's like tougher now. It's tougher to break into, it seems like. This is very cool. I'm excited. I want to get that Zybelium. I got to figure out what that is. So let's let's go over here and check. It was like right there. Yeah. Zybelium collection. Balloon gunner. Why not equip the balloon with a gun so they could shoot the rock when not busy picking up Zy? But there's no good reason not to buy this upgrade. The balloon now shoots rifle bullets when I... Yeah, let's do it. There's no... It said there's no good reason not to buy this upgrade. There's no good reason not to. Oh, buy this upgrade. Okay. Both. It kind of means both, I guess. Okay, so let's have that go over there and do that. Gotta love all the stuff we're getting here. I kind of fucked that frozen thing up. I think I hit the critical thing right after. The Mountaineers can still take a break. They're fine. I don't need them coming over here and throwing <laughs> what doesn't exist hardly over there. Let's see. Yeah, let's get that closer. Oh, shit. Now it's going over. Okay, there we go. So let's get this little balloon. Yeah, this little balloon needs, needs some help getting that thing. Come on, balloon. I believe in you. We'll let him go, and let's see what we got over here. So I can get more of these. I don't want that. Runners, I, I need more of. I need more runners. The more, the merrier. All right. The balloon's getting close. It's, it's slow but steady. Right. Improved digging would be cool, but also so would the weak spot frequency, and the weak spot weak spot would be amazing. I kind of want both of those next five, and it's 124,000. So this weak spot frequency we can do. Weak spots now appear every 1.5 minutes instead of every two minutes. When a weak spot is triggered, the overdrive bar is filled up by an equivalent of five clicks. Well, that's cool. That's very cool. Oh, is he about to get it? He's about to get it. He's going to get the Zybelium. I don't know what it does. Oh, he got it. He got it. What does it do? He's bringing it somewhere. We're just gonna hold this down and watch that little, uh, watch that little hot balloon, hot air balloon guy go. Is he? Ta he's taking it back. Hell yeah! I don't know what it does, but he's gonna find out. Hopefully, it unlocks some new cool shit I can do. Some new Zybelium stuff. I like the the that there's a color change now with the little pink since since going up. That's very cool. Got a long time before the next compression event. Two out of ten, so our tiers can get even higher. So I want to I want to work towards that. Tier ten is going to be a long lay away, I think. And we have three prestige points. Still not enough to go. Th talent points. Still not enough to prestige, in my opinion. But uh, let's get him back there. Yeah, he's taking him back there. I'm guessing. And the runners are fucking clearing this stuff out pretty much just as fast as they're able to get rid of it. There we go. That was nice. That'll be a good little chunk for him. There we go. Look at that. That's good. That's good stuff. All right. He's bringing it back. Slow but steady. He's bringing it back. Look at you go. The little Zybelium balloon that could. Improve digging. How much? Oh, no. I need three for that. Digging width would be cool. Efficiency is a heart of Norp kind. Mountaineers dig two more columns. Yeah, why not? Let's just get them. Now they dig a bunch. All right, drop this off, and let's see what it does. Oh, shit. He's bringing it down. Oh, now we have it trapped. Oh, you can increase the size of cursor and upgrade teleportation, combo power, fire breath, time shift impact, dirty thrusters, king of the piles, Ibelium arrows, rocket arrows, Gattlenorp, Gattlenorp ammo, the garden, academy, and adaptive learning. Zybelium has been collected. Zybelium or Zybe is a scarce resource that can only be generated during compression events. Use it to unlock powerful upgrades. Choose wisely. Oh shit. That is so cool. Okay, so I have to figure out what I'm going to spend that on. Ooh, Gattlenorp. That's insane. 2.3 million shards. Oh my god. Well, that's above my pay grade a bit, I think. 
I need one Zybelium, four, wow, empowered by Zybelium and a rigorous selection process. The Gatonorp is able to withstand the heat and knock back of the Gatling Gun. The Gatling Gun bullet deals two damage with a range of zero to five. Bullets deal raw damage, which means they're not affected by the multiplier. Bullets deal damage on compression events. Yeah, that's insane. That's, I, I don't want to spend my one on that, I don't think. Not yet. King of the Pile. There can only be one. If Mountaineer starts digging while at the highest point of the pile is crowned king and digs twice as fast, the king can be crowned again up to four times for a total 16 times digging speed. Another coronation can be held 30 seconds after the previous one. The king will not rest as long as the pile is worthy of climbing. That's very cool. Time shift impact. Usually when you land on something, there's only one impact. Time shift technology enabled by Zabellium makes that not so. Bombers now shift back in time after hitting the rock, setting up an immediate consecutive strike. Ooh, and Zabellium arrows. I need two for that. Uh, no, okay, so all regular arrows become rocket arrows to deal 15 up from 3. Whoa. Uh, inherits rockets, uh, range of rockets 0 to 5 and benefits from some rocket upgrades and talents at one third efficiency. Unlike regular rockets, these arrows benefit from the multiplier, does not leave behind an arrow. That's kind of crazy. And this is the garden. Norps love flowers. Besides looking pretty, flowers may also have some utility. They can be extracted through the combined powers of chemistry and zybelium. Norps, we need to cook. Okay, and the Academy, 64,000. The scientists at the Rock Analysis Lab have deduced that it is possible to infuse Norps with Zybellion. They believe the result is a Zykic Norp that can lift shards with their minds. Unlocks Zynorp. Zynorps lift shards with their minds and gain energy based on how much runners deliver. Wow. That's kind of crazy. Um, combo power. Zybellium hit Skullcap, sure to improve a nice bonus. During a combo event, third hit gets a five times damage with a range of two to five, seven to 10 with meditation. Slammers now breathe fire on their seventh combo. Deals 30 times slammer damage as fire. Stops, oh wow, shit. That's kind of cool. That one I might get. That one I might get. Let's see, stash, build housing, okay. Teleportation, a Zybellium upgrade allows runners to teleport instead of walking. Makes significantly cut down on delivery times if you have a low range of damage. Runners teleport back and deliver shards. Teleportation time is three seconds and is reduced by all speed bonuses. Carry capacity increased by 50% when teleportation is active. That one's kind of sick. I think I want that, honestly. Ooh, what's adaptive learning, though? Let's see. Dirty thrusters. Foul drones must have eaten something. Drones spill shards when descending like a mountaineer with thrusters, but without a hat. Baby drones deal damage based on the current tier, but perhaps they could learn a thing or two from slammers. Hmm. Interesting. I'm going to do teleportation. I just want to see what happens. Yeah, that, yeah. Yeah, that's cool. That's sick. We're making a lot there. That that was good. I like that. <clears throat> Capacity, let's have him carry even more. Wow, we're, we're actually... That's a lot there. That's good. Well, we're earning a lot now, so that's good. We're earning quite a bit. So the speed at which with which we're earning is great. Let's, yeah, up that combo chance. I need to be just taking combos out big time. Now, the warm-up jumps. Yeah, we got to start upgrading some of these smaller things that don't cost as much. Cybellium arrows would have been really cool. We just got to get to the next time shift or whatever. Or compression event, which right now we can't because we're doing so much damn damage. They need to take a break. Yeah, I need to unlock break time for them. Until the next compression event, runners significantly reduce their movement speed, 20% of normal speed. After the compression event, they gain a two times increase their carrying capacity and move their normal speed again. Yeah, let's give them that. Let's give them that. Because they're teleporting now, which I doesn't really... Yeah. Yeah, that doesn't really matter. So let's give them a break. We'll do that. We'll give them a break. We got... Ooh. Yeah. Let's do that. There we go. Load it up. Get them all that good, good... What is it up? Shards. There we go. I forgot what the word shards. We don't have any Norps right now, but that's okay. We're just working towards making enough money that that's not really going to be an issue. Let's go ahead and get these Mountaineers climbing, because they're not doing anything right now. And I don't know what... I mean, maybe climbing will be better for them? Maybe? We'll see. We'll just have to wait and see, I think. Yeah, there's not really much they can do right now, so that's okay. We'll we'll have them rest. We'll just make them rest again. You guys chill and rest, and we'll I'll call you whenever there's a pile for you to get on. All right, next things is gonna be the yeah nine thousand for the break. Break time. 
They also gonna be able to take breaks freely. Yeah, I mean, they need that. Yeah, they, they work hard. Let's get them some breaks. And delivery rush is pretty cool. Runners get a 1% to their speed for a short time after delivering shards. Hires two Norps to act as cheerleaders. That's very cool. I want the two Norps for that. That's really neat. They're going slow with that teleportation. That's all right, though. It said 20% of the regular speed, so that means it's going to go even slower. But after this next compression event, hopefully we'll... Can I turn teleportation off and they'll go even slower? Sometimes you want it disabled. Yeah, right now I want teleportation disabled. Let's just let these guys go real slow. And just do their thing. There we go. I like that better for right now. We can uh, we can put on teleportation if we need to next time. But uh, these guys are shooting ice arrows still. We're just going to be earning. So I may let this go. I may grind a bit in between episodes, guys. But I will see you next time. And we will be doing quite a bit more. So uh, I hope you guys did like this. And if you did, be sure to like, subscribe. It really helps out the channel. And of course, I'll see you next time. Bye.